Welcome, welcome. My name is Bethany, I'm with Spec Fashion. Thank you for joining me for this very quick and easy tutorial on how to make these adorable Cori flowers made from money cowrie shells. These shells are pretty common. You should be able to find these on Amazon for not very much money. You can buy them in bulk. Just make sure you get the shells that have been cut in half like this so they should be open in the back so to get started you're going to need five of these money cowrie shells a pair of scissors string and you can use any kind of string we've used yarn in this tutorial but you can use regular string you can use thread you can use bracelet making string whatever you've got it should work just fine I'm also using this craft bond glue, but any kind of Elmer's glue would be fine as well. Um, probably best if you get the kind that um, dries invisible though, just for appearance's sake. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, on my yarn, what I like to do before I start is take a little dab of glue and put it on the ends of my string and let it dry so it kind of gets hard and thin, and that makes it a little easier to thread through these holes on the shells. So on the shell, you're gonna have one side that has a larger hole, and that's gonna be the center of your flower. So make sure the ends with the larger hole is on the inside of the flower. So first you're gonna take your string, push it down through the top, and pull it just a little ways through and go ahead and tie a knot there at the end. Just a basic knot. And try to push that knot to the back of the shell. There you go, nice and tight. Let's go ahead and double that up for the first one. double knot. There we go. Now take the longer side of your string and start on the second shell. Go down through the top, out the back, pull it, and here's where it gets just a little bit tricky is you're going to want to try and position that shell as close to its friend here as possible when you tighten the knot. So go ahead and tie the knot around the base of this second shell. Pull that through there. And then as you're tightening it, try to simultaneously keep the shells super close together and just make it real tight together there at the bottom. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna go through and tighten them up and make it a lot more sturdy after all the shells are on. Okay, so there's two. All right, so continue to do that with all of the shells until you have all five shells kind of strung together like this. Okay, and now you're gonna go ahead and tie this knot so that the fifth shell comes together with the first one. Now you can see how our shells are kind of just flopping around all over, twisting whatever the way they want. Let's go ahead and fix that. So after you have it tied off, you've got your string coming out the bottom, we're going to start threading the shells together. So pick any shell, pull your string up through the bottom of any shell. And then kind of pick a shell on the opposite side and push it down through the top. I'll pick another shell, go back up, and down the opposite. 
opposite side. And we're gonna repeat this step several times until the shells come together a little tighter, aren't flapping around quite so much. All right, so we wove through a few times. You should have some kind of crisscrossy patterns going on like this. Your shells should be a little more secure, but we're actually gonna reinforce them even more. So, string coming out the bottom, we're going to wrap it up, come down two shells, one, two, and go up three shells, one, two, three. Down two shells, up three shells, one, two, three. Down two, up three, down two, up three. Continue this pattern. You'll feel those shells get much tighter together, much more firm as that beautiful blue center gets bigger. Beautiful. Okay. As soon as you have that center as large and beautiful as you'd like it to be, your petals are all steady. You're going to come to the back and we're just going to tie off those strings. Hopefully your string here is a little longer than mine is. I didn't leave myself much slack. Let's go ahead and try to tie this knot. Pull that through. If you can, go ahead and double knot it. Okay, <clears throat> and then once that's done, go ahead and snip off those ends. And here's where your glue finally comes into play. Add some of that. Oh, that would help if I opened it. There we go. Add some of that glue. And then you're actually just going to take your finger, dab it over the knot, and when this dries, It'll be stiff and it will reinforce that knot so it doesn't come undone. Okay, and there you have it. Beautiful little cori flower. And you can string these together to make a necklace or Christmas ornaments or whatever you like. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day, guys.